So let's continue my fingering board journey by looking at how we can visualize the patterns in sixths and thirds. Let's start with sixths. First, put a first finger on the A string for a B natural. Now, a second finger on C natural. Move the second finger over to the E string, and in doing so, we can now see a minor sixth. Here, have a look, have a listen. For a major sixth, move the C natural to a C sharp to a G sharp. We can now visualize on my fingering board the distances involved in producing these intervals. So it was at this point that I noticed that in fact major and minor sixths looked like whole and half steps. So with that observation, I stopped thinking of them as major and minor and called them whole and half steps. You see, visually, it made more sense this way, especially when looking at my finger board. Well, it was after playing around with this for a few years that I observed a pattern when playing a major scale of sixth up the A and E strings. I never noticed this pattern before. Have you? Well, for me, this was a totally unexpected reveal. Working with this pattern helped me to make sense of sixths and led to a much better understanding of thirds. So, why don't we explore thirds now? Start with an E first finger on the D string next F sharp with the second finger, and then G with the third. Move the first finger over to the A string, and you have a major third. Notice that the second finger is a whole step away from the first finger and a half step away from the third. This reduces the third into smaller distances, half and whole steps, making them more manageable. Now for a minor third, the distance between the fingers, the pattern, is, let's, let's start with the E flat to an F, whole step, F to a G, whole step, and now bring the first finger E flat over to the A string, for B flat, minor third. Visualizing these patterns can become a really helpful organizational tool. You can even close your eyes and imagine yourself doing them, practicing them, problem solving in your mind. So do take care and thanks for watching.